Here's how I match the lighting on all my videos. Now, I previously showed you with switch light how to match the foreground to the background. That works like not as well as you would hope, I'm gonna be honest with you. Don't count on that. This is what I do like 99% of the time right here. We got three methods for doing this. They're all pretty easy, but we're gonna go easiest to hardest. So method one, this is if you're shooting outside. And please, if your scene or your video takes place outside, please, I'm begging you, shoot it outside. I have never once in my life seen fake outdoor lighting ever look real one time. And so if you did take my advice and you shot it outside and it is sunny, then here's what you do. So you bring your footage into your 3D software of choice. I'm using Blender, obviously. This scene, it already has the camera tracked, which I'm assuming you would want to. Uh, but if you don't have that, you can use a free program like FSpy, or you can just eyeball it. It's not that big a deal, but it is important. So you have the camera lined up with your footage. You have your footage sort of overlaid. You just hit background image and then hit 50% opacity, put it in front. And the subject here is a man, but a man. It could be anything, any object in existence, but this time it's a man. So you get an object of a man, or at least the same size. You put it in roughly the same place, make sure it's the same height, make sure the head lines up roughly. And then I'm using the blender sky texture which is really nice, but you can just use a sky light, any 3D software. So as soon as you apply the sky texture or the sunlight or whatever you're using for the sun, and you go into render view, you'll immediately see where the actual shadow is in the footage and where the CG shadow is. And the beauty of shooting outside is that you only have one light source to worry about, the sun. It's perfect. So you just rotate the sun until the shadows line up. And if you're using the sky texture in Blender, all the colors are work out, and if it's a golden hour, it'll look passable. And bing, bang, boom, you've matched the lighting when it's sunny. If it's cloudy when you're shooting, that's even easier. Just use any cloudy HDRI. It just works. It just works out. Method two, switch light. Now, it's not what you think. It's not what I told you before. Switch light has another feature, making an HDRI from any image. I'm going to say that again. Making an HDRI from any image. So you can take a still frame from your footage. Will it be perfect? Will it match the lighting exactly? No, but it gets the reflections pretty good. Even lighting, if you're indoors and there's a bunch of lighting sources and there's windows over there and you don't really know where anything's coming from, hard to match up manually, you can just drag and drop it in. Now, the one thing about this that makes it a little bit more difficult is you do need 16 gigs of VRAM, video RAM, to be able to use it properly. I haven't tried using it without that, but they keep warning you like, hey, this is not gonna work. Switch Lite is a free program, so if you have a little bit higher VRAM, absolutely go for it. It's awesome. I use it all the time. It'll give you something like this. It's not high quality. It's just for lighting and, and for reflections. You can't like replace the background with it or anything. This isn't super great for high, high contrast lighting. And so that brings us to method three. Method three is making an HDRI yourself. I use this app called HDRI EYE. It's free to use, but if you want to export anything, it's $2.99 per HDRI, which I think is pretty worth it because it's not a subscription service. I hate subscription services. I hate subscription services. In the rare event that I want to make an HDRI, I'll pay three bucks. You know, how much did I pay for a phone? More than three bucks. Anyway, that's what I did for the Blade video right here. It had this very specific lighting and the background was a real place that I was in. And I actually shot some real footage that I was gonna composite Blade into, but the HDRI was so good, I just used that as the background. So if it's sunny, put in an object, match up the shadows. If it's cloudy, use an HDRI. If you're indoors and you're in a pinch, use switch light. Your lighting is really specific and you planned ahead, use HDRI or some other HDRI app. Between those three, you can do pretty much anything. And by the way, I'm gonna be posting a lot more tutorials and behind the scenes stuff of what I'm doing. So, you know, stay tuned for that.